See, the difference between me and everybody else is, you know, most people have a maternal family. Uh, if you look at any animal, uh, lion, bear, uh, the maternal instinct of a mother is to protect her child. Uh, even with humans, like I, I got friends, man, who've done everything and uh, their mothers love them, whether they drug addicts or whatever. But see, when you're adopted, you don't have that love. Uh, and maternal love, mothers might not even like what their kids choose to do with their lives, but the maternal love says, that's my son, I'm gonna support him. But when you're adopted, people wanna control your life. Like, I wasn't raised on love. You know, my mother never told me she loved me. My father never told, they told me he loved me. They always, we bought you whatever you want. They never bought me what I wanted. They bought me what they wanted me to have. See, they are control freaks. They don't, they always wanted me to do good, but not better than them. You know, they used to always tell me, we didn't adopt you to be uh, creative. We didn't adopt you to hand make clothes. We adopted you to be like us. And what they meant was miserable, hateful, negative, and disrespectful. Uh, that's why they don't talk to me till this day. You know, they run around and tell people I was bullying them. I'm not bullying you and I want to know who my mother is. You know, my adopted father. Uh, we know what's best for you. You don't need to know who your mama is. You're the only person out here won't know who your mama is. But when you look at sites like Ancestry.com, see the thing with the with the demon or the enemy, they want to make you feel less than human. Uh, they want to dehumanize you. Uh, they want to cut you off. You know, he told everybody in their family, uh, don't, don't deal with him. Uh, don't support him. What type of daddy would tell somebody that about his only, about his son? The devil. Well, this nigga has, you know, and he's a nasty motherfucker. And all the motherfuckers in Verona are like that, but, you know, God done took control of my life now. And, uh, man, I'm on my way to billions. And I'm gonna continue to tell my story, man, because it's a story of triumph over tragedy. You know, they had no sympathy and no empathy for me being adopted or knowing, wanting to know who my family was, which is my God-given right. They tried to play God. You know, they, well, we ain't gonna support you if you don't, if you don't uh, get a job and be miserable about like us. God got bigger things for me, man. Way bigger. You know, the worst thing that could have happened to me was being adopted by them. I don't give a fuck what they say. Uh... It's sad that people can have control over your life like that. It's sad what the devil can do, man, when he get a hold uh, of your life like that. But see, when God got you, God got you. And God got me, man. God got me. You know, all my life, even though, I mean, you know, if you look at him, he probably one of the nastiest demonic motherfuckers on earth. Man. And God gonna get him. I go, man, you listen, in life, man, you got generational choices lead to generational curses or generational blessings. And uh You know, they can they can tell all the humans all the lies that they want. See, I got favor with God though. See, he can't create no favor with God. They don't do shit, don't nobody know him. You know, all they do is run around, they run the church and they do not live uh by any means of the Bible. Um You know, uh, you know, my adopted mother, she goes to church every day. She don't display love. She don't, she don't, she don't talk about none of the principles in the Bible. The Bible talks about gifts. Gifts. The Bible says your gifts will carry you through. It don't say your adopted parents will carry you through. It says your gifts will carry you through. But they don't stand on that. They stand on their demonic principle. Nothing that they have uh, raised me on was a biblical principle. And then you got my adopted daddy. He he he's so demonic and so evil. He said he said shit like uh uh uh, uh, well, uh don't come back here and ask us for nothing. And since you out there telling the I've been there, uh, we don't care what we did to you. You don't tell nobody. What do you mean? So you, you yeah you just keep it quiet to yourself. He they they slave masters, bro. They slave man. God gonna show you who gonna win. Right, they, you can't win being nasty and next. See, see one thing about them, they so nasty and disrespectful and negative, they think they gonna win. 
And that ain't of God, so they ain't gonna win. That's why ain't none of them motherfuckers winning. And they ain't gonna never win, because they ain't got God. They built all on evil. Just because I don't want to be like them, be miserable like that nigga, have a nasty ass wife like that nigga, and have a fucked up life like him, uh, they said that they gonna cut me off. Oh, don't, don't, don't nobody talk to him. Uh, 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 all this shit. And all them people in that family, man, nasty as a motherfucker. And they just believe lies. But you know what? God gonna reveal himself. God gonna reveal himself, man. Y'all done made fuck around doing that evil act and all them niggas in Verona. Y'all done fuck around. And, and, and God said, you know what? You know what? This dude feed people all over the world. This dude got Nigerians saying his name. This dude got Chinese people saying his name. This dude got Indians saying his name. This dude really feed people. I, I gave him them gifts. Y'all ain't give him them gifts. I gave them to y'all. Y'all didn't make him. Y'all adopted him. I allowed y'all to adopt him. And y'all gonna do that to my child? Okay. Just like, and, and then to my adopted mama, Betsy. Since you read the Bible, you, you remember what happened to Joseph when he was sold in slavery? It made him the king of, uh, 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 of, uh, of Egypt. You remember that. But see, you're, you're such, you're so evil. Instead of standing with God, you will stand with your, your husband. And you know that nigga ain't shit compared to God. When you, when you fucked up and sick in the hospital, you don't pray to that nigga. You don't say Thomas uh, coming to my heart and heal my body. You pray to God. And you deceive God. You can, you can tell everybody about anything you want, man. This is the last video I'm going to make to y'all nasty motherfuckers, man. Because y'all know y'all ain't shit. Yo, you, my doctor, we gave him everything we want. What about love, nigga? Humans need love. But see, you the devil, so you don't understand love. It's all good. God done exalted me to the biggest thing ever. Anyway, I remember when I dropped my first movie. Anybody can make a movie. You can't. You dumbass nigga. You can't even spell movie. You can't make no movies, bro. You can't hand make no clothes, bro. You know, I got a pension in, man. And I got this. Nigga, that's all you got, nigga. That's all you got. God gonna get your ass. And y'all ain't got to never do shit for me. Y'all ain't do nothing but rob me. I, uh, best, I took care of your fucking sister, Emma. All them, all them uh, relatives you got, ain't none of them motherfuckers do shit for Emma. Then Emma get sick, you move in your house and rob her. How can you sleep at night? You, how can you go to church every day knowing you phony as shit? How can you sleep at night knowing you phony as a motherfucker? I can't, I only understand how God let motherfuckers like y'all live, but that's cool. He, God is exalting me to the biggest name ever. It ain't nobody in your family that can say they done what I done. As far as movies, clothing, YouTube, uh, or feeding people. And nigga, if I'm such a loser, why the fuck you can't do Why you can't do nothing but sit in the house and shit on yourself all day? Huh? Sorry, motherfucker. God gonna get y'all, though. You done curse your yourself and your generations to come. By being the motherfucking devil, nigga.